for my ex student salman sheik and uh, see he's the one who's just uh, helping me uh, to come live and doing all this thing i'm th uh, very much thankful to salman thank you so much now let us start our topic so today basically we are here to discuss the semester 2 paper 1 Uh, tomorrow is your practical exam i know you all might be a little bit um, nervous and you might be little bit like kya puchhenge ma'am what is going to be that but you everything is just only from your syllabus okay so let us move ahead without wasting of time actually what has happened you know i don't know why i am not able to hear my live stream in my mobile and uh, that's what is just jumbling me whether am i audible or not and i was just troubling salman help me and that boy is also helping me throughout so now i'm sure my children are telling i am audible so yes thank you so much for confirming it once again i will ensure in my another device that i am audible okay so uh, when we talk about the semester 2 paper 1 so basic now see in my another device also my voice is not audible to me i don't know what is the problem but i'm audible to you that is just sufficient for me and that is uh, more than silent my voice is not audible to me i don't know what is the problem Okay. 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 I got it. I could hear my. Okay. Chal. So uh, let us start with this. So your paper is for the two hours. Now, see, student, this two hour is really very crucial for you all for writing your examination. And uh, the paper is for the fifty marks. So how this fifty marks is distributed? First question. is your called as your major question so this is going to be a performing question and uh, in that there will be two performing practical but it does not mean that either this will come or that will come you always know that we have the uh, system in which we give the x and y type right so the x student may get one of it and y student will get another one so uh, one question number 1 first is estimate hardness from given water sample and compare the result so you will be getting the water samples and in that you have to find out the hardness calculation part is also there or you will be getting estimate the free carbon dioxide from the given samples and compare the result so here you will be getting a tap water or maybe the distilled water and comparatively we will be getting the aerated drink quickly we will just see the procedure how we all are going to have this so first we will be talking about the estimation of hardness of water so we will be taking 20 ml of the standard water sample now student here the procedure will be absolutely same for all the uh, waters whichever you are getting in but only the thing is that you will be uh, applying the same procedure this protocol will be given as per the university rule so first you will be taking the 20 ml of the standard water sample what do you mean by the standard this to matter what do you mean by the standard water sample here means the whatever sample you got it okay and after that you will be adding the 2 ml of buffer solution now see student we all have learned already that this buffer help us because this evt works under the buffer uh, situation only so we will be taking the ph 10 buffer and after that you will be adding 2 to 3 drops of the uh, ebt indicator so first step you have added the standard sample water after that you have added the 2 ml of the buffer solution after that we will be adding the 2 to 3 drops of the ebt indicator after that first you will be rinse in the uh, burette with the edta solution then fill it 
Now see why there is a need to rinse the burette so that the pH uh, will maintain. So this is a very crucial step. Usually what happens, student directly fill the burette and after that start performing. No, the ideal way is that you have to rinse the burette. That means you fill the burette, then empty it, then again fill it with the EDTA and after that you will be uh, titrating it. Once you have titrated, note down the reading into the table and you have to uh, repeat the titration to get the concurrent values. Now, how many titrations you have to take? That will, will tell you into the day of the examination. So, steps are simple. First, you have taken the conical flask in that the if two samples, three samples, whatever samples and whatever titrations are there, that will be told. After that, you will be adding the 2 ml of the buffer solution. You will be adding 2-3 drops of EBT indicator and you will be uh, rinsing the burette with EDTA. Then after that, you will be titrating it, noting down the burette reading, repeat the titration to get the concurrent value. Uh, we will take a small pause for the azan. So, thank you so much Salman for your overall support. Definitely, uh, when the students helping you in a way that uh, you could do something in the life is really very great feeling for a teacher. And uh, that's why I'm very much thankful to Salman also. Come back to the point. See, we were discussing the question number one. In the question number one, I said there will be two practical. Uh, student, I could not see, see uh, after a tiring schedule, if I'm coming online for you, it is expected all of you must also join me so it is really uh, bad that only till now five students have joined others haven't joined although i have uh, dis declared the schedule into the college only so this is really uh, not an appropriate attitude okay so question number one i am not going to pose this uh, live stream because this is beneficial only for those those who have joined me right now i am not going to share it and this will not be uh, available after the live streaming. Chalo, let us discuss the question number one. As before Adan, we all have discussed the question number one is uh, the two question will be there. First question, estimate hardness from the given water sample and compare the result. So this particular question is for 15 marks. And this is the only performing question you all will be having it. Now, see in the question number one, first option we have already seen. It is the uh, hardness of the water. And hardness of the water the protocol I have already explained you. Now, we will see the second that is the comparing the result of the carbon dioxide. So, question number one, first option. Hardness of water, you all will be taking the 20 ml of the standard sample of the water 
in that you will be adding the two buffer uh, two ml of buffer solution two three drops of the ebt then after that you will be rinsing the edta and uh, rinsing the burette with edta and after that you will fill it after that you will be noting down the burette reading and this burette uh, reading you will be comparing it and utilizing for your calculation part i am not going to discuss the cal calculation part right now that is already been explained to you but yes if i will get the handbook in my laptop then i will explain you the calculation part also you will be repeating the titration let's see if i have the handbook in my laptop then i will explain you the calculation part all as well yes i do have a handbook so i will explain you the calculation part as well this is the only so see how we will be doing the calculation hardness in terms of the calcium ion and here you will be taking the mean mean burette reading now see you will be doing it separately like first you will be finding the mean burette reading for the sample 1 then sample 2 sample 3 whatever sample is been provided in the examination uh, ideally there will be three water samples you have Uh, just sample A. You have to write sample A, B, C, whatever is given in your exam in, uh, matlab in your exam timing. So that where you will be writing the hardness in terms of calcium ion for sample A, for sample B, as we have done into the regular practical. So you, if you will be asked to take the three readings, so you will be writing the mean burette reading that time. So mean burette reading. into normality now see uh, here you will be writing the normality of the edta into 14.08 because 1 milli equimolar of edta is equals to 40.08 mg of the calcium ion then after that you will be multiplying it 1000 because we will be taking the final reading in a liter and after that you will be dividing it with the 20 that is the volume 20 ml is your volume of sample so uh, this is your calculation part now let us solve the uh, this second point ah uh, one point to be noted that you will be getting wine red to blue color as your end point this is your observation observation table which i have given you uh, in your uh, regular practical that only you will be solving it this is this conclusion is really very important for the viva point of view tap water was found to be less or more hard as compared to well water permissible value for hardness is recommended by who in 1993 is 100 mg per l uh, that is the liter that's why we have multiplied it with the 1000 Uh, both the samples are within or out of the range of the uh, WHO standards that you have to mention. If your answer is less than hundred, then uh, or more than hundred that you have to mention. Okay, so uh, because WHO says that it should be less than hundred mg per liter. Now let's move on the next practical that is estimation and comparison of the free carbon dioxide. Now this reaction is important for this particular practical. Now see uh, in water, whatever carbon dioxide is there that uh, combines to give a carbonic acid, and carbonic acid when 
mixes with the NaOH, so it forms the sodium bicarbonate. We all know acid plus base is equals to salt plus water. है ना? This is the general reaction we know. So this important reaction you must know. And this uh, sodium bicarbonate when it has been formed, so the that presence is can be identified. By the phenolphthalein indicator because phenolphthalein indicator turn pink when the pH is 8.3. So let us see the procedure for this. So the protocol for this particular practical is we will be taking the 100 ml of the water sample and after that uh, we are going to filling the burette with N by 44 NaOH solution. You will add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator, and after that we will be titrating it against the N by 44 NaOH solution. Now, end point you need to remember is colorless to pink. So, as soon as a first pink image will develop, what will happen when you will be adding the drop of it? So, pink color will appear. That after that it is going to disappear. So, you add one or two more drops in that. So, what well. You feel like that the pink color is stable. See, student, do not keep on adding any edge. I had it drop by drop. So the first pink color when it is appeared, after that only two and three drops adding is advisable. And after that you will be taking three readings or whatever readings you will ask to take that you have to take. And after that you have to calculate the free carbon dioxide and you have to compare the result. So you all know how to make this observation table. I am not going to explain. I am just going to explain how you all are going to take the calculation part. So, free carbon dioxide of the sample. Uh, the formula is MBR into 44 into an into 1000 divided by m v. That is the volume. So MBR now you all know n by 44. Eh? That's why we are multiplying it with 44. Then we will be taking the normality and 1000. So this is all about the performing practical. Let us move on the next question. Student, let me know if I, you feel like I am going very fast or you have any doubt. Uh, Madhya is asking me, ma'am, do we have to learn the protocol? No, Madhya, protocol will be provided. Only you must know the procedure of performing. Alright? What you are going to write uh, for practical question number one, protocol we are giving. So, you will be writing the aim, you will write the requirement. you will be uh, writing the, if any chemical reactions are there, you will be writing the observation part and observation table as well as and you will be writing the calculation. I repeat once again, you will be writing the aim, requirement, principle and uh, after that you will be uh, drawing your observation table and as I told you in the observation, you will be writing what is the chemical into the conical flask, chemical in the burette as we have done in our regular practical, then end point preferably, then after that you will be writing your observation table and at the end, the most important is the calculation, alright? And protocol will be provided. You already have given your semester one exam, you know. Now, let us uh, discuss the question number two. So, when I talk about the question number two, uh, question number two is not the performing that here you will be solving the problem so uh, in the question number two you will be given two problems each problem have the five marks weightage so any uh, any two is mentioned it does not mean you will be having the 10 problem and out of 10 you will be solving any two so here uh, whatever two question will be displayed on the screen both the question ideally you must know if you don't know you will not get the marks and each question will have the five marks weightage now question will be asked from the Natality, mortality, sex ratio, fecundity, and the population density. So, uh, uh, whatever questions we have solved in our regular practical, you all must solve it uh, and you do the practice of it. 
So any two question will come. Writing formula ideally have one marks, and after that the calculation part. Then uh, after that you all will be uh, having this um, calculation part and interpretation. यानी के writing the answer into the words you will be getting the uh, marks. So overall formula पे one marks. Then after that solving you will be having three marks and interpreting the result will have the one marks. Okay, for both the problems. Next is identify the brand animals. Question number three is really very 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 important. Okay, question number three me you have to uh, by heart over all the part which uh, we have done into the national park wala this uh, unit. So question number three me first option is. Identify brand animal minimum four and place them in their respective national park sanctuary on the given map, quoting the reason for their decline. Now see how you will be solving it. Here four animals or maybe the five animals will be displayed on the screen. Okay, out of that you have to. uh you have to just identify the name of that animal and after that you must be aware that this particular national park uh, sorry this particular animal belongs to which particular national park and after that you will be marking it into the map so how you will be solving it i will explain you with the help of your textbook only i am thankful to uber uh, because immediately he helped me to uh, take this textbook he made immediate pdf for me so thank you so much uber for this now see here say example on your screen Royal Bengal Tiger or the Ghadiyal is been displayed. Now, what is our question, student? Identify the brand animal. Okay, write. We have to write down their name, and after that, you have to mark. So here, say example, Royal Bengal Tiger is on your screen. So you have to identify Royal Bengal Tiger. Now, what is your question? Here, only let us come on the question paper. This is your question paper, right? So mark the national park and sanctuary. No, sorry, this one. Identify brand animal. So brand animal is shown to you. You have to identify that brand animal, and after them place them in their respective. So identify means you have to write down that this is the Royal Bengal Tiger. <coughs> place them in their respective national park. So you have to write. on your paper that the uh, a is royal bengal tiger belongs to or it is the representative species of jim corbett national park and after that you will be provided the india map so like this you uh, you will be mentioning it or marking it in the map of india all right any doubt in this shall we go ahead so what things you must be aware of you must be aware of the animal on the screen is royal bengal tiger this is an endangered animal this belongs to the jim corbett national park and the most important thing is jim corbett national park belongs to the uttarakhand and you should know the marking into the map okay so it is the not marking this marking is really very important and the second animals is the ghadiyal which also belongs to the jim corbett uh, now see uh, in the last practical i had given you this name of all the animals their scientific name even we have discussed this uh, particular animal belongs to which particular uh, national park and their marking this part we have done and also we have written their status now their status is important for the next practical now second animal is the ghadiyal that is the critically endangered species 
then the next sanjay gandhi national park let us see the representative species of the sanjay gandhi national park sanjay gandhi national park it is in mumbai gorewali maharashtra so you remember it's marking on the map it is present on the uh, western coast okay so yahan par the representative species of the sanjay gandhi national park is the leopard leopard is vulnerable species rusty spotted cat rusty spotted cat is near threatened species antivens near threatened species let us go fast to the tadoba national park which is the uh, which is also called as the 43rd reserve under the project tiger now it is also in maharashtra why it's not moving maharashtra north east mein hai ye now representative see maharashtra this is the maharashtra state north east this side okay this is really important to remember the marking into the map student now representative species is the indian pangolin which is endangered and the next is forest owl which is the critically endangered let us go to the kazi ranga national park of assam see this is our assam ka kazi ranga national park ganges dolphin and one horn rhino when i talk about the ganges dolphin it is endangered species and when i say the uh, one horn rhino it is vulnerable you need to remember the marking into the map it is in assam so what we will remember about one horn rhino uh, no ganges dolphin then it's marking on the map next is the gir national park which is also a wildlife sanctuary so uh, this is present into the uh, gujarat let us see the representative species of the gir national park so gir national park gujarat mein hai you need to remember it's marking into the map so it has uh, two representative species the first is the asiatic lion and the long billed vulture Asiatic lion. It is endangered, and this long-billed vulture. It is critically endangered. Next national park, Silent Valley National Park. It has two representative species: lion-tailed macaw. It's in Kerala, and Malabar spotted civet. That is the critically endangered. Parotan Island Marine Park Gujarat mein hai ye No coral reefs see uh, now if i will talk about gir to it was somewhere here and this is somewhat into the west sides and the next is uh, the dugong which is vulnerable let us move past to the next national park that is the koladev ghana national park which is present into the rajasthan marking into the map this site okay north east side of the uh, rajasthan state so the representative species is black bear which is near threatened and siberian crane which is critically endangered next is your bandipur national park and it is also a wildlife sanctuary it is located into the karnataka for quick revision i had already given it in your journal right 
so you should definitely go through with the journal those who are absent make sure that you will be uh, watching it and you are going to do it i am not going to save this live stream because i had already told you all to join online so those who have not joined they have missed it sorry then next is the asian elephant so uh, asian elephant is endangered and red slender loris it is the endangered species so it is in karnataka kuldev uh, or uh, this is a wildlife sanctuary kuldev aur ye jo hai yahan pe do representative species is the asian elephant and the red slender loris so this is all about uh, our question number 3 let us move back so question number 3 question number 3 question number first option identify brand animal for this you will be having the animal on the screen you have to identify the name of the animal you must know this animal is the brand animal of which particular national park you must know that national park is in which state you must know its correct marking on the map all right let's move ahead and move fast to the next uh, option mark national park and sanctuaries on the map of india and mention the name of their brand animal stating reason for their decline now here you will be given uh, names of national park any five uh, national park will be given uh, or maybe directly four they may give if five or six will be given you will be asked uh, mark any four national park into the given map of india and uh, after that on your answer book you have to write this national park belongs to which particular state and which are the brand number all right so here in this option you will be given the names of the national park and you will be asked to identify uh, sorry i you will be asked to mark it on the map and you will be asked to write down their brand animals in your theory it is a um, reason for the decline is mentioned that also you have to write now question number 3 you will be given any animal uh, it may be the endangered or it may be the critically endangered you have to identify that particular animal the status of that animal now here what you are going to write we are expecting that the student must know the name of that animal along with the scientific name of that animal okay you must know the scientific name of that animal and you must know the status whether the animal is endangered or the critically endangered and after that you have to write the reason for their decline all right let us move on the question number 4 if anyone have any doubt in question number 3 please uh, tag me right now and if you don't have any doubt in question number 3 so uh, please tell we don't have any doubt so that i can move ahead so is anyone have any doubt in question number 3 or everything is clear to you are you with me Okay, I think no doubt is there. So let us go ahead. Don't have any doubts. Okay, Sumiran, thank you for replying. Okay, so let us move ahead on the question number four. So question number four, the first option. See, up question number four, me lot many option is there. Or is me se kuch bhi aa sakta hai students. Study the given information. and give answer on the basis of the food chain food web and the ecological pyramid so here either you will be having the food chain or food web or the ecological pyramid any one uh, thing will be there and on the basis of that you will be having a question i will give you a simple example i think i may have uh, it in my this ecological pyramid only i will show you say example of this the 
दिस पर्टिकुलर इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड इज गिवन टू यू ओके दिस पर्टिकुलर इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड इज पिरामिड ऑफ नंबर सो से एग्जाम्पल वन इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड एनी इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड इज गिवन टू यू सो हियर देर विल बी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन दैट आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप ऑफ इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड से एग्जाम्पल दिस पर्टिकुलर पिरामिड दिस ओनली पिरामिड विल बी शोन टू यू एंड हियर नंबर आर देर सो वी शुड नो दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर विच टाइप ऑफ पिरामिड इज दिस विच टाइप ऑफ इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड इज दिस सो दिस इज द इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड ऑफ नंबर बिकॉज हियर द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑन ईस्ट ट्रॉफिकल लेवल इज मैंशन सो सिंपल क्वेश्चन विल बी देर Uh, which trophic level maximum animals are there minimum animals are there like this questions will be there so uh, as i have opened this powerpoint let us quickly revise the ecological pyramids so ecological pyramids we have seen are of three type one is the pyramid of number in which the animals uh, this particular pyramid is made on the based of the numbers of organism on each trophical level so uh, here on the food chain always the primary producers are more then primary consumers are less secondary consumer will be less and tertiary will be the least into the population why because only 10% energy passes from one pyramid to the second pyramid this is your laboratory exercise now construct an ecological pyramid of number with the following data this we have done into the regular practical now pyramid of biomass you need to remember that biomass that is the dry weight of organism at each trophical level at one time is mentioned here okay now next is uh, this is the regular practical we have done ecological pyramid of energy based on the amount of energy passing to each trophic level so we have learned generally the 10% energy is only passing from one trophic level to the next then next we have this is the old one paper one it is i am not going to explain you this okay all right so such type of questions will be there there may be the question in which the j curve or any other curve will be there food chain will be there so there will be simple simple questions on the basis of the food chain will be asked there may be the food web will be there so the question on the food web will be there so you will be asked the question identify the food chain so you need to understand that this particular food chain is of uh, grassland or maybe the desert by knowing the animal because we have done lot many food chain and food web into the regular practical now question number 4 prepare the food chain food web and the ecological pyramid from the given data and give its significance now see here student prepare the food chain and food web sometime it may happen as we have done into the laboratory exercise we were given the names of some animals and we were asked to prepare the food chain right do you remember the animals uh, scattered animals will be there? i will show you one regular uh, practical exercise so that will be more and more clear to you all see this time such food chains will be given or you may be uh, directly ask a question draw the food chain for the grassland draw the food chain for the fresh water draw the food chain for the marine water so such type of question could be asked see this is the food web so a food web will be given on the basis of that animals will be there like this aquatic food web construct the food web using the following animal recorded in the ocean so these animals will be mentioned and uh, you will be asked to uh, draw the food web on the given detail all right so such type of desert food web any type of food web could be asked all right and there was one little activity to uh, given to you all you were given an activity 
that uh, uh, you have visited this uh, Maharashtra nature park, right? In that you were asked to draw the food web of that. I hope you all have done that particular thing. So this is the second question. Let's go on the next question. Identify and interpret the given graph, growth curve, age structure and comment on the pattern of the population dispersal. So here, uh, uh, growth pattern like J-shaped curve, S-shaped curve will be given, sigmoid curve and the J-shaped curve will be given to you. You will be asked or maybe the population dispersal, age structure, we have done Ethiopia and all that you remember. So that type of questions will be given and the questions will be asked to you. I will uh, just go through quickly on this, on the question number four, this option. Because this we have done into the beginning only. Yeah, this. <clears throat> so this type of graph will be given on the basis of that you will be asked to write down the question so interpretation of the given graph tables and comment of the pattern of the population in the nature so three type of curve we have seen highly convex curve uh, that belongs to the type 1 species those who uh, live their maximum lifespan diagonal is actually depend uh, these are the predator species their life certainty belongs on the animals those who are predator on them so prey species usually i mean highly concave curve is having the uh, highest mortality so here you will observe that they are having the large number of the uh, eggs like fish, oyster and all. Life So basically this type of pyramids will be given. This I wanted to tell you. See, pyramid of age structure. Then bell shape age structure. So age structure are of three type. Pyramid age structure. This is for the, uh, you can say the developing countries. Then bell shape structure. It is for uh, in which the developed country we can say where the number of pre reproductive and reproductive same unshame so these are the three can we have learned so such type of basically what I wanted to say a such type of graph will be given to you. Now then determine the population density by the capture and recapture formula. That we have done Sanjay Gandhi National Park population was given and after that we were asked to do the uh, capture and recapture. I hope you all remember that. So all such questions we have already solved. I am not going to uh, repeat the solving part now. now the last question. is the journal certified journal i hope everyone have certified that journal do you have any doubt in question number four if yes uh, tell me where you have a doubt because now i will end this uh, stream so if anyone have doubt let me know because this is the last question after that i am going to end the stream Okay, if you don't have any doubt, we can go ahead. Journal and the Viva goes. So, uh, this particular question, your certified journal, the date of certification have a real uh, meaning. 
So make sure that before entering, thank you Sumiran for confirmation. Uh, make sure before entering into the lab, you have a certified journal in your hand and your journal is properly covered and uh, you will be asked some viva okay question number four hasina hasina just now i explained question number four that question number four first option you will be given just now i have explained it that question number four first option you will be given the food chain or the food web in that you will be asked some questions so a ready made diagram will be there or the graph will be there and on the basis of that question will be asked okay so and in the second option you will be having a question prepare the food chain or the food web you will be given animal or directly you will be asked to prepare the uh, desert food chain or the food web grassland food chain food web whatever so either you will be asked to prepare the food chain by the given data and see here the most important thing writing significance step marks because this particular question is for the 10 marks so you have to write the significance of it and the significance is mentioned into the background information if you will read carefully then the next third option you have to identify and interpret the graph growth curve age structure and after that you have to comment on the pattern of the population dispersal the last option in that is the capture recapture method that we have done in our regular practical it is a calculation part so if the capture recapture type of question is asked you will be having the two questions and you have to solve both the questions okay now last uh, i hope hasina your doubt is clear if it is clear please confirm it into the chat box so i will also be free yes it is confirmed to you yes hasina is it clear to you now okay bachcha now let's move ahead on the question number 5 quickly everyone must have that certified journal and you will be asked a viva voice that is the oral questions will be there on the basis of the practical component okay so here uh, before entering into the lab code almost we are uh, uh, entering into the lab almost we are a very clean neat lab code everyone must have the equipments or apparatus asked to bring by your examiner for paper 2 you have not got such instruction and but only thing which you need to carry is your calculator make sure you have the two one or two calculation questions will be there so everyone must carry the calculator and uh, you are all stationary all right whatever you are required and whatever paper uh, two teacher has instructed to you for carrying you all must carry that so those who have joined late see quickly fast i'm going to revise the complete paper pattern semester 2 paper 1 is 2 hours 50 marks paper okay in that question number 1 estimate hardness from the given water sample here you will be given the various water sample like tap water well water pond water distilled water or whatever type of water whatever is your examiner has decided and after that estimate the free carbon dioxide from the given samples so here um, there may be the sample of the aerated green tap water distilled water different type of samples but here we will not tell you which type of samples are given for both the options samples will be marked as a b c d you have to identify that this particular water is of what type by your regular practical reading okay so quickly we will see the procedure once again for question number one estimation of hardness that is your first option you have to take the 20 ml of the standard sample water in that you will be adding the 2 ml of the buffer solution after that you will be adding 2 to 3 drops of EBT indicator in that you will rinse it uh, rinse your burette with the EDTA and after that you will fill it titrate it and note down the burette reading into the table repeat the titration to get the concurrent values and after that you will be uh, doing your calculation part the second option in question number one is estimation of the free carbon dioxide from two different samples aerated drink and the tap water so in that you will be taking the 
हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ टॉप टैप वाटर एंड हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ द एरेटेड ड्रिंक एंड बोथ द फ्लास्क यू विल बी मार्किंग एज ए आर बी आफ्टर दैट फील द ब्यूरेड विद एन बाय फोर्टी फोर एन एम एच नॉ सी फॉर मार्किंग द फ्लास्क एंड ऑल यू मस्ट हैव यूर परमानेंट मार्कर विथ यू ओके परमानेंट मार्कर विल नॉट बी प्रोवाइडेड सो परमानेंट मार्कर कैलकुलेटर everything you must carry your own in exam if you will be asking it to your friend definitely we are going to make a copy case against you we are uh, not at any moment we are not allowing you to talk even for asking the stationery it is not allowed and strictly not allowed means not allowed so make sure you all will carry your calculator with you and don't tell we were not aware you are not aware that means uh, you are not regular into the paper one practicals the student those who are regular for the paper one practical they will know very well that for paper one practical they definitely require the calculator all right so uh, here you will be filling the buret with the n by 44 nuh say the rule follows here also first you will be rinsing your buret with n by 44 nuh and after that you will be filling it For indicator, you will be using the phenolphthalein indicator in both the flasks. Titrate against N by forty four NaOH, and you will be titrating it till the pink color observed. Because the uh, once your solution is turning into the pH eight point three, definitely you will be getting a pink color. Then question number two, solve the problem. Now this problem will be based on the questions we have done. mortality natality sex ratio fecundity population density so all this uh, question will be asked then question number 3 <coughs> uh, the first option you will be uh, given the uh, animal on the screen you have to identify the brand animal on <coughs> sorry identify that particular brand animal write down that animal name in your answer book <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> you have to identify that particular animal and your the uh, you will be writing that animals <coughs> national park name as well as you will write the name of the state in which that national park situated in and after that you will be marking it into the india map which is provided to you <coughs> second option mark the national park here on screen name of the national park will be displayed and it is expected that the you should know now earlier i have already gone through with the revision part uh, which animals belongs to which national park or the sanctuary so here <coughs> name of national park will be mentioned <coughs> on the answer book you will be writing their brand animal name as well as you will be ma uh, marking it on the sanctuary and you will write that why these animals are declining all right now third option identify endangered and critically endangered animals so here photographs will be displayed on the screen and after that you have to write the reason of declining that particular <coughs> national park question number 4 now student question number 4 there will be four option study the given information give answer on the basis of food chain food web and ecological pyramid so out of this three any one uh <coughs> will be there on the screen either the food chain food web or the ecological pyramid on the basis of that question will be asked and uh, or second option you will be given the name of animals and you will be asked to prepare the food chain or the food web or directly you will be asked prepare the food chain for the grassland for the desert or aquatic animal or whatever food chain or food web and after that next option uh, see here only in second option once you are done with the food chain and the food web or whatever ecological pyramid uh, question which we have solved into the regular exercise in that you will be asked to uh, on the basis of that you will be asked to prepare the ecological pyramid now here you have to write its significance what is the significance the significance is mentioned into your background information and that writing significance have two marks so students it is really very really important 
that you will be writing uh, the significance now next option the option 3 is identify and interpret given graph growth curve age structure so given graph uh, we have just seen that uh, there are type 1 type 2 type 3 animals various graph are there concave convex and the diagonal that will be their growth curve uh, j shape s shape or the age structure age structure is also of three type pyramid Its structure, bell shape, on shape. So this type of uh, structure will be given, and you will be asked to comment on the pattern uh, pattern of the population dispersal, which we have done into the regular practical. The last question: determine the population density by capture and recapture method. So uh, that we have solved the uh, this is the calculation type of a question. We have solved it that the number of animals are given. and they are been marked and after that they were released into the wild and after that they recaptured so uh, <coughs> you have to find out it with that particular method and the last question the last question journal and the viva voice so in that is expected that the student must have certified journal with them and they will be asked the viva on the basis of the practical component so i wish you all all the best for your exam if you have any doubt let me know and uh, at the end definitely i like to thanks to salman uh, the tvy bsc student who is the <coughs> pass out student from the 21 uh, 22 batch i am really thankful to him because he is a youtube blogger and uh, he helped me to uh, join this youtube screen stream through the obs studio and also thank you so much sadman for being with me he is very busy but out of his busy schedule he helped me because uh, i wanted <coughs> we have to uh, go through with this practical part now kankasha beg is asking me ma'am for the first practical do we have to learn the requirement yes yes my child you must know aim requirement and principle i repeat you must know aim requirement and the principle for your practical number 1 so if anyone have cleared with their paper so i wish you all the best and i will end this stream all the best for your examination do you have any doubt or should i end the stream <coughs> so i don't think you have left with any doubt so i will end just end the stream and i wish you all the best bye everyone thank you so much thank you so much for joining you all can leave now bye everyone thank you so much for being with me you are welcome hasina bye beta good night everyone